Okay. Good morning, yogis. Looks like we have a really nice group joining this morning. So um, lovely to <laughs> see you all. Um, I get to at least see your names and scroll through the screen. So it's almost okay. Hope you're doing well. Um, modern Hatha this morning. We're continuing on our path of building out a comfortable seat. And with that, we're working throughout the hips and we're working with all the postural muscles um, through the trunk. Um, and then we'll lead into a seated meditation at the end of practice, I'm kind of closing through. So starting um, just with some gentle movement in a seat, please use your blanket for a little bit of elevation. And we're just going to extend those legs out to a straddle. So I've got my little seat. I'm already working this kind of anterior tilt of the pelvis, feeling the hips begin to move forward. Right? So here, just a little rocking in the upper body. You can make it into a circle if that suits you. You can take it forward and back. Again, I'm gonna keep my legs strong, okay, active, my toes pointed up. I'm thinking of drawing my sits bones down so there is a nice sense of grounding in the legs. And I'm just getting some movement again of the pelvis and this connection, this 360 around those thigh bones and a little bit of opening in the trunk in the side body. From here, let's just settle into aligning back of head, shoulders, and hips behind, okay? Slide those shoulders down the back and then reach the arms out long. We're gonna straighten them out. Reach especially through the ring finger and feel the shoulders draw back. If they touch the ground, great. If you were, would be happier with connection, let the blocks extend out. So that might even feel a little nice for you, okay? Then my fingertips, fingerprints coming down, but I'm really working extension through the ring fingers. And then that also through the toes. Those toes are spread and lifted up. So I've got this really nice, strong base of the lower half of the legs, and then the arms are stabilizing all the way up through the center. Soften the ribs in, broaden through the collarbones. Feel length in the sides of the neck and the back of the neck. Okay. And then from this place, let's take the left arm up and then side bend over to the right. With it, if you've got the block, press it away, go long. We don't need to force this left hip down. I more want to think about my leg rooting down than my sit bone rooting down. Okay. So if it wants to move a little bit with you, let it. Don't force it down. And then inhale, come on up, and we'll take it to the other side. It's a nice, big, yummy side body stretch, okay? Inhale, and then exhale over. Right. Arms by the ears, right? soften the shoulder, and then just this nice reach. Again, nice side body stretch, not forcing that right sit bone down, and then come on back up. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and reach over, maybe both blocks this time coming into a pretty gentle fold, right? Inhale, torso strong, tall, exhale, begin to hinge forward. So I'm not necessarily really intrigued by the depth yet. Again, we're just warming up. Maybe I'd even like my blocks higher. Feeling nice again, postural support. Working a little bit of rotation, so we definitely have you know, more coming out through this left side of the waist. And then maybe we can take the arms, thumbs find the shoulders, and then reach them way up, press them, press them up, and then hold it there, arms by the ears. Right. Feel that back body waking up, the shoulder line waking up, and then just like we did earlier, soften the front ribs in. Nice, inhale, rise up, and release. Let's go ahead and take it to the other side. Okay. Again, using that support of the earth, lift, rotate, and twist. Working this hip hinge. Feeling this left hip draw back to help me go forward. And again, nice alignment. Coming long out of the right side. And then maybe here, keeping that upright, Thumbs find the shoulders, spread the fingers, and then press up. Staying with it.
Nice. And then inhale, upright. Exhale, arms away. Okay, let's go ahead now and bend the knees. Bring the feet to the floor. Okay, this is one where I like to then come off the blanket and back onto the mat. Okay, here I'm actually pulling my knees towards me and we're going to get a little more active by lifting up the toes. I'm trying to pull the knees in towards the armpits and again, fingers find the shoulders and then press up. Press up. Right, thighs are alive, toes are curling back, heels are trying to pull towards you. So now you've got the back of the legs energized. Core is working strong, front ribs soften in. Holding for another breath. And then release, okay. Let's go ahead and let those shoulders draw back, coming back either onto your hands or onto your elbows. You find what works, but support, right? Support so the torso still feels engaged, okay? Here we go, rock them to the left, up, and again, as we do, we're checking out this 90-90 line. So as I come on over, I'm lining up my knee with my hip. Yep. Awesome. Awesome. Next time we come over, dropping them to the left, I'm going to leave them there. Press down and then see, can, we, can you climb up higher and still be there? Actively pushing the left knee down. Actively pushing the inside of the right leg down. And then take the right arm up and we're coming around towards the left. Cool, okay. See if maybe we can sit up any taller, bringing that left hand more in line with shoulder and hip. Right arm reaches tall and then right arm is gonna reach forward. Think of it coming off the knee. So as it reaches forward, it's at a little bit of an angle. From here, the left hand can begin to creep around to wherever you need. And again, lengthen the spine. Try to take the folding out. And that would mean the folding through the side body getting crunchy, okay? We're obviously folding over the front leg, so we're not gonna lose that. But I wanna still feel side body super long. Maybe moving down, coming to an elbow at this point. Maybe shifting to both elbows. And then inhale, again, turn on the postural support. Find the shoulders and then press it off. Two. Nice. Come back upright. Sitting with it here. And then exhale, turning in towards your legs. Right? Use the hands here, what makes sense, as you're trying to open your chest towards your right knee, towards your feet. So odds are we're into this inner thigh, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe like the hands coming towards the legs themselves, that connection to pull forward. Awesome. And then let's come on back over to a more comfortable place, left hand onto the left. Again, I'm not going to dump but I am gonna use as much as I need. We're gonna lift the foot on the right leg with internal rotation, okay? So whatever I support, I support. No re-lean, just one lean. Lift it up. <laughs> Rotate it in, lift it two. Try not to change position. Lift it three. Lift it four. Mm -hmm. Lift it five. Six, we're going to eight. Seven, nice and eight, hold, hold. Maybe the arms come up too, hold. Three, two, rotating, and release one. Awesome, okay, from here now, I'm gonna lift just the leg, press it back, right? Lifting that right knee and then pressing it away again and trying to keep True integrity in whatever your spinal column, your obliques, your abs are supporting. Again, press it back. Awesome. Press it back. Three. Two. Okay, and you guessed it, this last one you're gonna hold. Hold pressing back, and I'm also pushing this left knee down. So they're both going away, okay? Keep the arm support or 
you can maintain, right? Again, we're finding the shoulders and then we're pressing up, pressing up, hold. 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 And then release down. Awesome, up. And let's take it over to the other side. Let's go back, okay? Maybe the arms are out in front, stabilizing with a little tension in the system. That'd be those two fists and those strong arms helping to support. Let's go one more round. And then left. Awesome. And then we're going to end up right. Okay. And here we go. This is where we started on the other side. Yep. So we're going to begin to allow the body turning. Right. And then I've got my right arm come out to the right. The left arm is going to go up nice and long rotating again i'm coming off a little bit towards the corner nice and long in the front of the left hip and i can use again my right arm anywhere i need to help support this right trying to keep the length coming out of the waist we started here working our way little by little maybe coming down lower maybe shifting more towards the center And then we lift it up through the shoulders. We try to stabilize. Again, front leg is pushing down, back leg is rooting. And again, we're going to see if we can find the shoulders and then press up and hold. You can lean more forward if that makes sense to you. You can feel the load get, get harder, right? Get heavier for the entire system. And then up. And exhale, we're going to rotate now in. Right, we're rotating now in and does it make sense to the hands behind you it's generally where i like to start you may have more opening right trying to get more of the inside of the left thigh down pressing both down into the earth holding here to start awesome hands find the shoulders press up see if you can hold here Maybe it's one arm that raises. Maybe one arm you still like to keep down. It's all good. And then release, okay? From here, we're gonna rotate inner um, and lift the leg. Keep the hands behind you if you wish to lift up or lift up. One, <laughs> two, you can see this is a locked one for me. Three, four, internal rotation, keep it grounded. Five, six, seven, and then hold it, eight, holding, three, holding. Adding the extra load if you want, holding. And then release, awesome. Okay, you ready to go the other direction? I am. So I'm pushing down here, big toe side, press it down, and then outer, up, one, nice. Keep right down, two. Keep the hands behind to support as you wish. Three. You may find you go further. Look, look, look. Huge, bigger range, which is nice. Or maybe then you can find it here. Five. Six. Seven. Last one. Holding it. Hold. Press that front knee down. Press the back away. Six. Oh, over the top. Hold. Seven. And eight, release. All right. Again, tension in the system, right? The fists are forward, the shoulders draw back. One, two, three, four, five. Turn, reach it. I'm putting a couple things together now. Up, over, turn, and reach. Nice. Center everything out, curl the toes back, come back as you started, find your shoulders and then press up, pull the heels towards you. Hold, five, four, three, two, and release. How about we meet on the back? Coming down, lower down. Awesome, okay. 
Here we are on the back. Neutralize the feet so they're not wide anymore. Arms lengthen by your sides. Neutral spine. Exhale, imprint, curl up and lift. Beautiful. Hope. Float the arms. Thumbs will hug right by the hips. Turn the palms to face the body and then take the fingers to the sky. Take the right arm only overhead. Take the left arm out to the side. Let them hover. And then switch them around. Right arm is out to the side. Left arm overhead, hovering. Keep the bridge tall. And then both hands back to the sky, both hands to the hips, both hands to the earth. Breath here. Exhale, hollow and lower down. Awesome. Bring the knees in, give them a hug, and let's rock it from side to side. All right. Bring the feet into a butterfly, Baddha And you can go ahead and hold with the hands, or if you prefer, just loop that strap and then comfortably come down to the ground, okay? Come back down onto the hips. Um, the hips are down, neutral spine here too. So see what you can do to bring the feet towards you, whether you hold with your strap or you hold with your hands and keep the tailbone long and away so you're still working as possible, neutral curve in the lower back. Keep pressing the knees away from you. Maybe the feet are even trying to open up, big toes separating away from each other, opening like a book. Nice. And then release and just squeeze the feet together. Squeeze the feet together, chin to the chest, hollow imprint and curl up. Hollow imprint and curl up. Still trying to be in that same shape, but I'm using the imprint of the spine. Okay, now let's see how this goes. Take thumbs to the shoulders. Right, you can either go straight to the sky or challenge yourself and see if you can go straight overhead. Hold, five, staying with it. Hold, four, staying with it. Hold, three, hold, two, and then come back around, find the feet, pull them in, 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 and then maybe, maybe, maybe toes up towards the forehead, getting small. All right, working a little smaller, hold, five, Two more breaths, two. And then you should be pretty well set up for happy baby. Release the head back down. And then we're just gonna open up the legs wide to straddle first and then bend the knees in, right? So we had, really had to go for a little change in range there, okay? Pulling knees towards armpits, trying to get the hips down, tail down. And then we're gonna rock it. We're gonna rock it one side and rock it to the other side. And rock it one side and rock it to the other side again. Okay, we played with this last week. You may have played with it with me. So we're going to take the same action that we're doing, right, in this connected, and we're going to disconnect the arms and the legs and see that we can get them all still going with us in the same. All right, the same the same, right? So there's no collapse, there's no change. Still working really hard and now I'm asking my trunk to stabilize. You wanna work a little harder, try to hit your brakes. So instead of going to that low point of the rotation, stop above it, right? So if you know you can come all the way to the ground, right? See next time if you come down, stop, right? Hit your own brakes. Turn on those obliques, stop, hit your brakes. Awesome, hit your own brakes. Let's do one more round each way. Hit your brakes, hit your brakes. Center out, set the legs down. All right, we're gonna take the right ankle and cross it over the left thigh here and come up back to a bridge. Okay, really turning on again, backside, glute squeeze. Keep that right knee pressing away, lift that right hip up and we've returned to a bridge, nice crossover bridge. And really trying to pick up that right hip even. Turn on the left glute. And then lower down. Lowering down, we're gonna go ahead and grab the right ankle with the left, taking it over. 
pressing the right knee away from you, opening up the right arm, looking, maybe gazing back towards the right hand or just over to the right side of the room. And keep pressing the right knee away from you. Now let's roll over to the left side, left arm overhead. Roll yourself to the left side, extend the left leg out straight, and then press yourself up. So you're onto your left forearm. Your right hand now can thread through and hold on to the right ankle. And you're gonna press yourself up, maybe coming onto the left hand itself. Okay? So from here, we're gonna work purposefully pressing the bottom leg down into the earth and then lifting nice long side body stretch here. Right foot, inner, thought, inner foot is down, and I'm almost trying to move my leg more towards me than pushing it away, okay? Bottom leg is straight. You've got to push it into the earth to feel that chain reaction, and then keep pressing into the earth and inhale, lift up. Long reach with the right arm. Press away with the left. You'll notice the left hand is a little bit away from me. It's not directly under my shoulder. Taking up the hips, right? Staying with, arm can be by the ear or to the ceiling. Which one do you prefer? And then as we come down, we're gonna continue rotating towards the left and we're gonna come into that shoelace. The knees will stack, okay? So we're taking a little more care for the outer hip here. Maybe you wanna sit onto a blanket, letting the hips begin to again spill forward. Left foot's coming around to the left. And being that we've been playing with some binds, I thought we might put a bind here. So the strap would go around your right foot. Plenty of space. The left hand is then gonna take it and feed it over to the right hand. Okay, so the left hand took it and fed it over to the right. As we come into the shape, I wanna feel that my right thigh, top thigh is still rotating out and coming down. I'm not trying to bring it into my chest, but I am bringing my right hand over and trying to find my left big toe someday. Okay, so there's the shape. Can you feel what that's doing to the right side of the body? I don't wanna do it so much that it's rotating me to the right. I'm not there yet, okay? We're folding. So instead I'm going forward and maybe my two piece fingers hook to my thumb and make that little loop grab, okay? Now you're all connected. It's totally connected. Moving forward, heart up. And see if you can breathe in to the loop you've created, right? So I'm working this connection from the legs to the arms, wrapping around right to left through the heart. Awesome, and then we're gonna lift up. So lifting up is a little different here. I'm gonna consider now letting the strap come to my ankle, okay? And I'm gonna bring my right foot to the ground, toes pointing away from me, okay? Now I'm coming around with the left arm, hugging, and here's the rotation. I've still got this loop. I've still got this place of connection, trying to draw the shoulders away, broaden the collarbones and spin around. Hugging, trying to bring my right knee towards my right shoulder as my toes point away and the foot stays grounded. Right? You can keep wiggling the right foot closer to the left, right? And then coming into that spinal length. Maybe you want to try, instead of reaching around a whole bunch, straightening out the right arm behind you and feel the shoulder draw down. So even if you don't grab as close, Straighten it out. And then unwind just the head. See if you can dissect that. And then the rest of the body coming around. Undo, extend the leg out. Shake them out, little forward fold, balance it out. Inhale, arms up, exhale, forward fold. And half lift. and then release. Okay, cross the ankles, come on over hands and knees. I know we have another side to do, but we're gonna get up for a moment. Cross in hands and knees. 
Inhale, arch the spine. Exhale, hollow. Again, inhale, arch the spine. Exhale, hollow. Inhale, tuck your toes, lift up, down dog. You can walk the legs out. You can bend them both at the same time. Just kind of checking in right hip, left hip. And then we're going to take that right leg and lift it up. Three-legged dog. Chin to the chest. As I look down, I can see my toes pointing towards the ground, not off to the side. And then I'm going to keep that rhythm as I push through the heel and the inner thigh to lift it. Maybe coming up onto the left toes and then back down. Exhale, tuck the knee in. See about placing the foot between the hands and then rotate. Ha ha, little side lunge here, right leg bent. Shifting those arms off, finding the shoulders. Bringing the hands through, rotating to left heel and coming into skandhasana. Whether you want to sit on a block or you'd like to hover with hands at heart, three breaths. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, bring the hands behind you, free flow, palms up, rotate. And then maybe bending, hooking thumbs only, spread the fingers wide, up and over. Inhale, releasing hands down by the hips, half lift, and then extend the legs out to your straddle. Forearms down, hands down, blocks down. Outer foot down. Working the outer foot down. At the same time, I'm a little energized the feet towards each other. I don't need to overdo that, but they're just not splaying out. I'm controlling. Three more breaths. Okay, as you make your way back up, coming up, let the feet walk to what makes sense. I'm gonna bring my right foot over to join my left, so I'm pressing off and then coming onto the back, okay? So coming onto the back here, lower back down. Two feet down, arms by your sides, again, bridge. Pressing up through the bridge. And then exhale, hollow, and lower down. Awesome. We're going to cross the left leg over. We're going to begin that work here. So left foot crosses over, right? We're going to lift up our bridge here. So picking up, right? using what you need, lifting, squeezing. Maybe you with no hands. You take them to the sky or overhead. And placing them back down. And then exhale, hollow, and lower down. Beautiful. Okay. Right hand grabs the left ankle, and then we're going to take it over to the right. Left arm reaches back at an angle. Okay. And gaze over there, or if you want to gaze the other way, or gaze to the sky. Pressing left knee away. As I press the left knee away, I'm also trying to press my left hip down towards the ground. Okay, as we make this switch, we're going to roll to the right side. Right arm goes overhead, left hand comes around, and we're rolling to the right side, straightening out the bottom leg. Right? Straightening out the bottom leg, I'm going to get really engaged, pacing the baby toe down reaching inside and then beginning to climb up here, all right? I'm climbing up to what makes sense, all right, press. Okay. 
And trying to keep the big toe in line. Okay. And then from here, we're gonna take this up, yep. So I'm gonna keep pushing, pushing from the legs, press, lift from the legs, up, 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 up. Again, the arm is a little bit away, not directly under. Left arm can be to the sky or overhead. Try to use both feet. This front left foot, I'm trying to get all four corners down. You can really feel that activate all throughout the leg to hip connection. And the bottom leg, I'm really pressing the outer foot down, outer hip is lifting up. And then exhale, lowering down, right? And then again, we're gonna rotate. We're gonna rotate into our shoelace and then we're gonna see about looping this all out. Okay, did you like the little blanket lift? Again, if you find that you're rounding or something in the lower back or even through the shoulders that can't come up on top, jack it up a little bit, <laughs> go a little higher, right? Wrapping the legs, trying to twist so the knees align. And then here's where we're coming around, we played with the strap. The strap's gonna go around the foot. The right hand will do its job to help thread it over to the left. And then from there, you can make that connection as you wish. As we've worked in binds, I didn't recover this today, but the arm behind you is rotated inward as it crosses, right? It's not going backward, it's inward coming around. Awesome. Okay, so there's our one loop, and then maybe we make the next loop. It can be to the leg, it can be to the mat, you might find the big toe, right? And then again, we're gonna breathe through this loop, these loops that we've created. Work the back of the right thigh down to the ground, curl the right toes back to you, press the left knee away, stay in with. Two more breaths, belly pulls in. and then we're coming up, right? We're gonna explore that rotation, and we're gonna do that as we set the foot down. So let's come up to the ankle, walk the foot down, so the foot, toes are pointing forward, right arm comes around and hugs the left knee, and then we begin to build this out, right? Building this out, little by little. Right. Trying to get that big toe side of the left leg down, right. rolling in. And then again, maybe you play with straightening the arm behind you. So that'd be the left arm. I'm gonna try to straighten it down and feel how that shoulder then kind of nuzzles in more into towards the spine and really helps support the seat. Couple of breaths. Okay, just the head's coming around. And then everything unwinds all the way around. Awesome. Lengthen the leg out. And exhale, a little forward fold. And then come on up, cross the ankles, hands and knees. Inhale, arch the spine. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, tuck the toes. Exhale, lift, down, down. Again, you wanna walk out the legs a little bit. And then we're lifting left leg, left leg. Again, I can track it, I'm looking, my toes are towards the ground, I can feel what that's required. And then I keep lifting through the inner line, inner thigh. Right. Maybe up onto the right toes and then back towards the heel, staying really long. Somebody's got a hold of your left ankle and is pulling you up and back. And then again, lift to the right toes, tuck the left knee in, place it between the hands, and then pivot. Pivoting to left side lunge. Toes and knees are going in a nice direction, making me happy. Heels are shifting back. 
low in here. And then again, maybe we're finding the shoulders and pressing away. Think of the arms up by the ears as you can. Maybe the chest lifts a little higher because you're getting ready to come on through and then rock onto the right heel, Skandasana. Skandasana with a seat, right? Grabbing one of your blocks to sit. Skandasana with the arm prop or Skandasana with hands at heart. Nice, you ready to climb it up? Straddle out, up. And then exhale, fold. Okay. This time we're gonna go for um, a wide-legged puppy. So here in the wide-legged puppy, we're getting most of um, our drop in the spine we're trying to by getting deeper into the anterior tilt of the pelvis to free the chest. So I'll go from a profile. If I did my feet don't slip. Okay, <laughs> here we go. So I wanna keep hips over heels, right? So I'm not shifting back and I'm not coming forward into a down dog. That's the one thing that usually happens. And you may very well like your blanket or a prop for this, okay? I am working as hard as I can here on the spill, on the hips spilling forward. So they keep spilling forward, spilling forward. So my heart wants to go to the ground. Okay, it may be happier onto a prop here. And it definitely will depend, right, on the width of the legs, how close you are to the ground, as well on how low you get here. Chin forward if possible, too much, forehead down. Nice and then walk the hands back, okay? And then see if you can use that space I have to, to widen out your straddle. All right, so we're gonna come back to just a wide old straddle. We did that big pelvic tilt, seeing if we could lift the tail taller. Now we're just going to straddle out. Okay, now from our straddle out, we're gonna bring our hands through fingers point the other way. And then we're just gonna see if we can take the feet, right? And with them, it's not the feet that are just gonna rotate, it's the entire leg. We're gonna see what we can do to get these knees and toes more pointing upright, okay? So my hands will walk through, and then I'm gonna lift up to knees and toes. So I'm supporting my straddle. If you wanna come all the way down when you're ready, keep coming down, keep coming down. And you're gonna see if you just got maybe a little deeper, wider into the straddle. You can stay upright here or try to keep the knees upright and you come forward. Elbows, blocks, build it out. Four breaths. And then lift all the way up. Uh, gently guide the knees in. Find yourself back onto the mat, legs out in front, and recline onto your back. Let the legs go long, the front of the hips open. Awesome, from here, let's bring the right leg in. Give the right leg a nice hug. Go ahead and lift the leg so it's about 90, 90 degrees. Knee over hip, toes a little higher. Keep the right hip down and cross it. Keep the right glute down, the right hip down. No twist, just a cross. And then inhale, come a bit out. Okay. Straighten out the leg and then do the same thing. Maybe now the hand slides up towards the calf or if you prefer, you can hook your heel 
and take it over. I like to hold the heel in the left hand as I hold the right. So the straps are both coming to the inside of the thigh on this one as I'm beginning to cross it over. Booty is still down. Booty is still down. And then let's take that up and over. Now we've got the twist. Let's stack the hips so the left leg may move a little more center. Now you look, the hips are totally stacked, the chest is open, and the left shoulder moves more to the left to get the right shoulder down. Inhale, bring it up. Bend the left leg, center yourself out, and release the right. Let it down and just take a moment. I know we usually do three leg, three way leg stretching, but we've done all the other variations of those legs. So we're doing our crossover here. Do you feel a difference? Right and left? Yep. For sure. Okay, so let's go left side first. Left comes in, give it a hug. You're going to do a little rocking or a little easing or just like to hug it, what feels nurturing to you right now. And then we're going to let that leg go into a 90 degree little bend, toes a bit higher, okay? Again, hip stays down. I'm gonna go ahead and just cross it over. You can keep the foot lifted. You can drop it if that feels better to you. And cross it over without letting the hip come up. Make sure that you're not resting in any impingement or pinching in the groin. That's something that's generally to be avoided. So if you're finding that, it's just not the right spacing for you, not the right shape, and you may need to um, adjust how your knee comes in close to your chest or away from you or come out of the depth entirely, okay? Now that we've done that, we're gonna come to the straightening of the leg. Do you wanna stay here with the hand? Do you wanna change the hand? Do you wanna grab your strap? I'm gonna go for my strap on this one. Again, I'm gonna bring it onto the inside. I just like the way that kind of weights it better. And then my left hand may help me. I could even bring my left thumb, right, into that space inside, create a little more space that way too. I'm crossing over here. Noticing if the waistline begins to disappear on one side, crunching, right? And you want to keep that spacious on both. Stay with it, two more breaths. And then feel how it's just gonna take you to the twist, okay? We're gonna cross it over. The right leg, again, moves a little bit to the right to come to the outside of the hip, crossing all the way over. And then the right shoulder moves to the right. All right, that's the right hip moving to the left. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> I'm sure you're smart enough to probably figure that out, okay? Hip stays away, again, waist stays long. You can gaze out to the left side, gaze to the sky, or look over at the right. Full and complete breath traveling through the body. and then work your way back up. Straighten out, release the legs, and let them shake out. Inhale, take fingers to the sky, chin to the toes, curl yourself up. Inhale, nice and tall, cross the ankles, come on over, hands and knees. Inhale again, cow pose, arching the spine. Exhale, cat pose, rounding the spine. Inhale, tuck your toes, exhale, down dog. Walking the legs out, bending the legs. And then here, we're gonna bend both legs, leave them bent. And then you're gonna rotate your left heel inward. Okay, left heel in, and then the left leg straightens. 
feel a little bit of a familiar line than where you just were. Out and down. And we did a lot with internals. And we're balancing out a little more on the externals. And then we'll do one chest opener and then we'll come to sit. Maybe walking hands closer to the feet, making it a little short dog. Coming back out, okay. Bend both knees here. Again, wiggle it out. And then we're gonna go ahead, rotate the right heel in and just straighten the right leg. Right? The left leg can bend as much as you'd like. Lifting up through the right sit bone, right hip. Staying long out, or maybe if you enjoy, if you have a fold that's comfortable, you can shorten your dog. You might like that pressure a little bit more. But you're drawing your right foot into the ground and feeling that rebound come up to lengthen the top of the hip. And then inhale again, come to the toes, wiggle it out, shift forward and come into a child's pose, just everything closed. Bring the hands under the shoulders, chin tucks to chest. Come on. For here, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do um, a bound butterfly. So we're gonna kinda come back to where we had started rather early. We did a Supta Baddha Konasana, where we were reclined and our legs were in the air. We're gonna do a Supta Baddha Konasana, but this time everything is gonna be reclined and I'm gonna use the strap to help me with that. So I'm gonna make my giant strap built for two to start. I'm gonna do my configuration of my blocks. I can go high, high, I can go middle, high, low, low. They're wide, wide, okay, wide. A hand space distance or so between the two blocks. Okay. And then I gotta turn myself around. Make sure that you have, I'll show you from this side, your buckle out and accessible, okay? This comes into the lower, below the waist, back of the pelvis, okay? Hooks around the top of the feet, and then I get to tighten this up to whatever makes sense for my butterfly, okay? And then I'm coming down. Feels a bit like twister, yeah. <laughs> Shoulder blades finding their spot, and then up and over, and the head will find it, right? The block is underneath the shoulder blades. Again, drawing them down and into the back. Arms are opening, elbows maybe hit the ground, maybe not, and the head. Nice and easy as you breathe in and out here, work into a four, four part breath. So whatever that equates for you in terms of comfort and duration, just find the holds, the pauses in the rhythm of the inhales and the exhales. Feeling everything slow down. Feel free to change the position of the arms. We're going to take about five more breath rhythms. Enjoying the expansion of the chest.
you feel how these bricks would really support that nice tall posture seat as we begin to lift ourselves up and support the head and the hands chin to the chest and then the hands elbows whatever you need come down press up and then you find your buckle the metal part and just pull it comes off <laughs> dress yourself out <laughs> and then go ahead and lower down for a brief uh, recline so always come to a nice little recline after any sustained pose just feel <sighs> wiggle it out yawn it out shake it out if seated meditation is not for you today no worries here you are into shavasana ready to welcome that final pose of rest if you're joining me in a seat let's find one we've done um, a lot of cross-legged so if you feel comfortable to come into cross-legged or half lotus even um, go for it if not you can sit on the knees right you can sit on the block but find a seat perfect nine minutes left nine minutes uh, moving inward. Yawn out whatever you need to do. Close the eyes. Gaze, tip of the nose, into the heart, or up to third eye. Pick a drishti. Move into that space. You may feel more comfortable with palms down, introspective, or you may prefer palms up. Whichever you choose, let's connect inner and outer worlds. Thumbs and four fingers connect, the other three fingers extend. And here we sit with what is. And we lovingly guide our mind back to our breath, to our body, to your drishti, to your mantra, whatever that one thing of grounding is for you. As the mind loses it, as it does, we simply guide it back.
Let me begin to wake the body. Bringing life to the breath. And if you're reclined, make your way to join us in a seat. And if you're seated on that next breath in, just reach the arms up. Exhaling, hands to heart center. I thank you each for your practice. May you reap its rewards. Tashmana Shri Gurudev Namaha. Namaste.